heavy, heavy torrential at the, uh, I'm underneath Spanish River Bridge, the famous Spanish River Bridge where the crew of jackass jumped off it right here. This is where they jumped off, landed in the water right there. But right now, there's some really intense, some really intense uh, rain. This is what it looks like. See it, see it coming down off of the bridge. Heavy duty, huh? Coming down off the bridge. Heavy rain. Currents also coming. Oh, somebody behind me. I gotta. I don't wanna block them. Yeah, that's awesome. Heavy duty. Oh, here we go. This is what it looks like. You don't have to show it or oh yeah. Super flooding. Super flood potential. Branches falling off the trees, tornado, all sorts of stuff. This is heavy rain. We normally don't get that kind of heavy rain. There we go. Lightning. This is uh, on the on the advanced side of rain. Rain plus plus advanced. So we're going on through this big puddles, big puddles. Big puddles. Oh man. That is cool. I like it. So this is what's, what's cool about Florida is, you know, just one minute it'll be raining like this. Next minute it'll just stop. And then it'll start raining again and it'll just stop. This is some heavy rain. Okay, here we go. Here. Cars coming. No cars coming. I got my lights on. Let's see it. Yeah. Woo, man! There's some rain. There's some lightning. Will we hear the boom? No. This is. I just went shopping too, so I'm loaded up with all sorts of stuff in the back. Didn't intend to get in this mess. I got some fresh fried chicken. Chicken wings, fried chicken wings. I don't want them to get wet. I got some fresh bread. I don't want that to get wet. So hopefully it'll clear by the time I get home. We will see. I'm sure there's just these giant puddles here that we're just gonna have to avoid. Mmm, that chicken smells good. Red lightning clubs, boom! Ooh, I wonder how that's going to turn out as far as the sound. See, this person in front of me has an FIU license plate. This is heavy rain. I'm completely soaking wet from running uh, from Publix to my car. Oh, more, uh, more braking. Look at that, that's some heavy. That right there, see right here? This is where I wiped out once on a bike. Pushing it to the limit. Seeing to my, saying to myself, how far can I go? Or how fast can I go on a 10 speed? And I found out right here, right there, I wiped out. And I discovered how fast I could go. It was great. And you know what? I got that out of my system. I don't want to ride around on a 10 speed no more. I don't feel a need to push the limit like some of these spandex guys. I found my limit right there. I ripped my ankle open. It was pretty gory. You could see the tendon. You could see the fat. It did a number. I mean, not a permanent number. I just had to be stitched up. It was like a cosmetic thing. But it was pretty freaky to look inside your body like that and see your tendon and see your fat and stuff and say, whoa. It was weird too, because it didn't bleed that much, you know, for how much it was open. It was a crazy cut. Went to the hospital, they stitched it up, no problem. It was probably one of those no limits things. But I'm glad I did. You can't live your life not knowing limits. You gotta find that limit. And then you know what? 
your limit might go up after you found it. That's what you ask yourself. You say, wow, now that I found my limit, hey, am I the wiser? Is my limit actually above this? Because now I know what my limit was, so I can go farther. But you never know. You'll never know. You'll find, find your limit, and then you've got to push your limit again. Oh, look, I was in low gear the whole time. That's fucking weird. Right? That's weird. I'm going to go ahead and drive. Maybe I was in low gear for a reason. Who knows? I won't know. Just one of those mysteries. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to turn the wipers off just for a second so you can appreciate how much rain is falling on me. A lot. A lot. More lightning. Kabooey. Uh oh, this light. Whoa! This light is out. This guy's a dick. Oh shit. We're talking some flood flood action here in Boca Raton. Are we gonna go for it? Are we gonna be cool about it? Yes, we are. We're gonna stay in the middle of the road like we learned through all the hurricanes. We're not gonna we're not gonna push it. We're not gonna push it to the limit and we're not gonna let the assholes in front of us stop. Because obviously that would suck. Right? Oh, there we go. I hear something hitting the bottom of the car. And we're through it. Okay. Fried Chicken Express rolls on. How about that? Whoo, boy! Now we're going through a hilly part of town here. And of course, where there's a hill, there's a valley. Whoo, boy! There's some canals near here. Let's see how we're doing here. We're not doing too bad. This is not bad. Is that one intersection? That was a bad intersection. There was Dixie and um, Spanish River Boulevard we just went through. And it was pretty bad. Now here's the valley that we're gonna go through. Let's see if this thing flooded. And it didn't, believe it or not. This little valley here that we're going through, the valley of Boca Raton. Nope, not flooded, just a little bit, not bad. Hallelujah. We thank the Army Corps of Engineers for draining all of Florida, turning the wetland into a taxable, developed land. Rather than a mucky swamp nobody wants to live in. Oh, here we go. We're going through another valley. But I'm on the high side of the road. See the left side of the road and Florida, it's the high side of the road. The right side of the road is meant to drain off, so it's always going to be a little lower. Wow. Mm, this is awesome. Yo, you see that? Yeah. This is good. I like recording this. As long as I don't do something I regret here, I'll be happy. This is a cool video. Look, this guy's got their hazards on, as if, you know, like everybody's dealing with the same problem. What's this guy mean? I'm losing it! I'm losing it! Oh, 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 look at my hazards! I don't know. Maybe it's safer. Maybe it's like wearing an orange shirt. It makes me want to put my hazards on. But I'm trying to be cool about it. This guy's going just as fast as everybody else. Tailgate. He's tailgating with his hazards. I'll just follow him. I'm hungry, too. We get a little break over here, a little, little break in the clouds. Hopefully that'll let me get my groceries unloaded here in beautiful uh, Midtown Boca Raton. And it looks like Midtown Boca Raton's actually uh, a lot less flooded than East Boca. I don't want to eat my words, but yeah. Maybe it didn't get as much rain. But the roads here are much more passable than the roads of East Boca. Which seem to be struggling there. A lot of people are going to be flooding their cars out, not knowing what to do, stopping in the middle of the thing. 
see it now. Well, we saw it there, right? Yeah. Okay. This is good. Getting home. Whew. That was hairy there for a minute. Thought I might be struck, stuck, stranded. Without, without a way to get home, that would have been horrible. I'll turn off the windshield wipers for sake of aesthetic. Yes. See all the beach stickers. You gotta have a beach sticker here in Boca. This is how long I've had this car that you get one sticker for each year. So I've had this car for a long time. This van. Serve me well, I tell you. I bought this van. I'm pretty sure I bought this one over in Port Charlotte, where Warm Mineral Spring is. And of course, when I bought this vehicle, I had to visit Warm Mineral Spring because it's awesome. Lynn College Lake, all flooded. This intersection sometimes floods, but not today. We're doing good. Yeah, we're doing good in midtown. Not like East Boca, I'll tell you. East Boca must have got the part of the dump. You can't smell them in this video, but I got uh, fresh chicken wings in the back of the car. I got chicken wings from Publix, and they had a bunch of nasty fried chicken sitting out like the last bag waiting for somebody who's in a hurry and desperate to grab it. Who knows how long it had been sitting there. It wasn't going to be me, I'll tell you. I know that if there's only one bag out they're about to put more bags out at some point soon so i asked them and lingered and it was worth it and there was a dude who was there who had these long luxurious eye eyelashes and he helped me navigate my chicken choice and you know what i think he was an expert or whatever she a chicken expert because man this chicken smells good and I'm dying to eat some I'm having like that low blood sugar thing where you're gonna feel sick because you haven't eaten in a while yeah it's happening with me and this chicken's making it worse it was about that time I saw a sea monster but that's a whole different story listen I wanna go Y'all be good.